Right, let's now uh, uh, turn our focus to the big focus story at this hour. Now, remember, there's been a turn of events after you had the opposition members questioning the BJP Shinde Sena government in Maharashtra on the issue of misuse of Nirbhaya funds. BJP has hit right back. Now, what as it looks uh, right now is that all politicians have pilfered on women's security fund. That is the allegation that uh, we are hearing from both sides. Police sources had revealed that some of the vehicles procured by the Mumbai police earlier this year under the Nirbhaya fund to fight crime against women were being used for providing Y plus security to MLAs and MPs of the Shiv Sena faction led by Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde. This has left the opposition fuming with Uddha faction of the Shiv Sena, Congress and Nationalist Congress Party joining forces to attack the Shinde-led government as they asked if the security of the ruling legislators was more important than protecting women. However, now the BJP has hit right back saying the MVA, the previous MVA government did exactly the same. First, let's tell our viewers what just happened. In June this year, the city police force procured 220 boleros. Uh, this is the sequence of events. Let's play out the graphics with regards to the vehicles, with regards to the misuse of funds and the procurement of vehicles. Let's put that graphics out on the vehicles that were procured with regard, uh, through the Nirbhaya Fund. In June this year, the city police force procured 220 boleros, 35 Ertigas and 313 Pulsar motorcycles. Uh, as well as 200 Activa two-wheelers using the 30 crore corpus that it had received under the Nirbhaya Fund. After the vehicles were procured in June, they were distributed to all 97 police stations, cyber traffic and coastal police units in July. As per the police officials of these vehicles, 47 boleros were requisitioned from several police stations by the Motor Transport Department of Mumbai following an order from the VIP security section of the state police stating that they are required for use as an escort vehicle for MPs and MLAs of the Shinde faction to provide Y plus security cover to them. Now, when they are questioned, the Shinde faction claims this was exactly what was going on during the MVA regime as well. So it's become a case of pot calling the kettle black. That's the issue that we are discussing today. Following the disclosures, massive political row has erupted, with leading members of the opposition being unsparing about it. But as I mentioned, now, the BJP and the Shinde faction has also decided to hit back. Let's listen in to some of the important inputs coming in on the story. So, just this is what I'm giving you here. 4 February 2022, Nirbhaya ke nidhi se 220 cars from Maha Vikas Aghadi Sarkar ne bhaan pe khare di ki hai. Aur uske baad, 220 mein se sirf 121 cars, yeh Mumbai ki 94 police station, 94 police station ko di gai. बाकी की जो 99 गाड़ियां थी 99 गाड़ियां ये 19 में 2022 को अलग-अलग डिपार्टमेंट को दी गई Whatever has been allocated for women is now being used for various other purposes. So this is nothing but misappropriation of funds that we got in uh, to Mumbai so that we could make our women feel protected and safe and are now being used for their, their services at their service. So this is absolutely unacceptable and the government will be held to account and we've given them a, a, day, a, a seven day notice in case that doesn't have come by then we will take this further. I don't know what to say because I have so many things that's going on in my mind as far as Nirbhaya case is concerned, as far as the funds that were allocated originally concerned, now they brought it down and now the misused. misused yes. But it shows the people who are there handling things if they are going to be utilizing or misutilizing. It shows they are capable of their mentality, insensitive people. This is not only uh, 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 useless, but this is ridiculous. Because the fund which was made in the, during the uh, UPA, uh, UPA government, which was specifically made for the women industries, which is diverted. And we always demand in Rajya Sabha also we demanded that Nirbhaya fund should be utilized for the women only. But that is not been done. And if we are diverting that, then we demand to the Minister of the Women and Child Development and to the government of Maharashtra also that that fund should not be diverted anywhere.
It is absolutely an insensitive thing to be doing this, absolutely wrong. We all know that Maharashtra has been seeing so many atrocities on women, all kinds of offences against women. And instead of paying attention to that, you divert a fund like Nirbhaya to such things. I think it's absolutely uncalled for and it's something that uh, Maharashtra will never uh, ever forgive. Well, let me introduce joining us here on the program, Mr. Krishna Hegre from the Bala Sahib Anshi Shiv Sena, who's a spokesperson of that party. Also joining us, Yogi Gade, who's a political analyst, but supports the Uddha faction of Shiv Sena. Very good evening, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us here on the program. Let's, uh, before we go to the guests and for the uh, sake of our guests as well, here's the sequence of events. December 2017 is when the Nirbhaya gang rape rocked the national capital. February 2013 is when the Nirbhaya funds were allocated for women's safety schemes. July 2021 is when we first reported misuse of Nirbhaya fund from Jharkhand. Money from the fund was used for road projects. March 2022, government actually released data on allocation and utilization. And it turns out that the utilization fell way short of the allocated amount. March 2022, data again showed only 50% of the funds were utilized. 12 December 2022, that is today when you have a story of Misuse of funds by Maharashtra governments, apparently by successive governments. Because the moment the BJP and the Shinde faction was questioned by the MVA leaders, they have turned back to say that this was going on in their regime as well. So Krishna Hegre, uh, you know, this is so shameful because we report so many cases of women's safety and we often raise this issue uh, that is the government serious? Are enough funds allocated? Are there enough projects or are there enough schemes that uh, that is looking into the safety of women it turns out that yes there are budget allocation happening but look at how it is being utilized vehicles were bought with this fund the vehicles are used for some other purpose it's just so shameful and it's so uh, embarrassing also in a way for the government to be exposed like this mr hegre afida you'll have to give me two three minutes to speak first yeah. Uh, I would like to tell you that Maharashtra received around 320 crores for Nirbhaya funds since its inception. And these vehicles which have been bought have been bought by the previous government, that is the Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thakre faction, the NCP and the Congress government. And they procured these vehicles at exorbitant costs. And I am sure that there's going to be a probe into it. A van costing 25 lakhs was bought for around 3 crores. So you must imagine the kind of corruption which has gone into the procurement of such vehicles. Secondly, what has been peddled here is an absolute bunch of lies because we have just five legislatures in uh, Mumbai and two member of parliaments and we don't need 30 vehicles for them even, even if you are giving them a Y, Y plus security. So this is a, a blatant lie. Second, thirdly, there is no documentary evidence where the, the spokesperson of the Shiv Sena is trying to prove a point. The fourth thing is, uh, even if uh, uh, 300 crores were spent, the procurement of 30 boleros act with the actual price is only 3 crore rupees. And what has actually happened is the Prime Minister, the Honorable Prime Minister, yesterday inaugurated and uh, put forward to the nation development projects but 75,000 crores. And the Chief Minister and the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, both of them, inaugurated 676 development and beautification works in Mumbai alone in the last two days. Now the opposition is not able to digest this. Mumbai, if, if you ask any Mumbai who, a Mumbai car who is going towards the city, you will see how the uh, city has been spruced up and uh, beautified for the G20 delegates, and because they cannot see all this, let's, what is happening, let's just stick to the have, let's just stick to the conversation have, at hand. Have, what you are saying now actually, you know, it means that there are more skeletons in the closet. Now you are going back to the point on procurement of these vehicles and how more money was paid for a vehicle which was not of that particular price. That becomes another scandal divert, now. That becomes yeah, another scandal. Trying, so there are no, layers and layers of corruption in this whole thing. 
Uh, Mr. Yogi Gade, no, no, diversion okay. is happening from all directions because you are no, supposed no, no, to are, answer, are, Mr. Are, Hegre, are why are these vehicles were, no, no, why were these vehicles called in from the police station and used for VIP security, Y plus security for Shinde government? That was the original question. Now okay, it has DGP. gone back to multiple the, the, other the, issues. The director, to the issue the of procurement of these vehicles, which I'll have to put on hold for now. Let me have Mr. Yogi Gade also respond. Mr. Yogi Gade, please tell me, how is this fair? You know, uh, so many cases of uh, crime against women, you know that uh, Maharashtra happens to be among the top three states. And here what we are saying is not just misuse, there is mismanagement of funds as well. On paper, what will happen is the fund that we are saying 50% utilized is actually also not accurate because it is not utilized for the purpose it is meant for. It is utilized for something else. Isn't that correct? Yes. Firstly, uh, the Nirbhaya funds, uh, which was uh, started during the UPA government after uh, the Nirbhaya case in 2011 or 12, and... Uh, uh, if you go to see, we need to have a uh, serious audit on all over India about the Nirbhaya funds, the way it is being utilized, because uh, we are in 2022 and still the women in our country uh, need to be given assurance about the safety. And if we are using the fund somewhere, somewhere else, it is a shame. And uh, it just shows <coughs> that as a society, we don't uh, respect women's safety and uh, uh, not giving them, uh, giving the issues concerning women uh, seriousness. And uh, if it, even if there were allegations, if it has happened during Mahavika Sagari government too, uh, the Home Minister is uh, right now of the BJP in Maharashtra, that they can probe into the matter even then if there is corruption, uh, they can, uh, they have the AD, they have the CBI, they should uh, uh, do the audit uh, about the, if, if, uh, if this nearby funds were used that time also. And now also there needs to be... He and, says, uh, Mr. Yogi Gade, let me tell you. You know, in Hindi, I think they say, hamam mein sab so nange hai, because everyone is in it together. These things usually don't even come out. It's just one of those things, and truth has a way of coming out at the most inconvenient time. That is what has happened, and it has exposed both sides. All political parties, it seems, have misused these funds one way or the other. Yes, Mr. Hegre. I would like to tell you these people who are crying from the rooftops now about misutilization of funds. In the entire government of between uh, 2019 to 2022, June, they have not even spent a single penny on uh, uh, on uh, women protection and security. Only when the government was moving away, they procured, uh, you know, 220 boleros, 30 fire gas, 313 pulsar bikes and all these. And that too at exorbitant cost. So they have no moral rights to even tell us what to what they have done or they what they have we no are moral to rights to uh, procure an exorbitant cost. But do you have the moral right? The, the, does the current Shinde government and the BJP government have the moral right to get these vehicles which were meant for a certain purpose and utilize them for no, no, Neta's these are security? Are it is, no, 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 no. This is coming from the state police. This is no, not no, even the, a. The this is not even not, some secret. No, 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 the, no the this is coming from state police. The it's coming from police only, sources. The only, the only thing the DGP has The done BJP has and Shinde that... government is not denying it. No, no, they no, are no. not even denying yeah. it. They are saying no, no, the MBA government yeah, used to do the same. Not, if it was not accurate, no, no, no. they would deny I'm that. Finished. They are saying yeah, the no, MBA... I'm denying, it. I'm denying it. I'm denying it here. And I'm even saying that the DGP has the right to deploy vehicles wherever he wants and, and uh, remove the vehicles from de uh, deployment from... Uh, according to his uh, Yes, that would be damage has, control. That would be damage that. control. So but in the first of, place, uh, you know, why was evidence? this liberty taken of drawing out vehicles meant for protection of women, drawing out those vehicles for VIP security, not even as if there is some other emergency that this is no, being used uh, for? Uh, Aparita, if, uh, if you see all these opposition leaders, just a week ago, you, you have reduced the security cover of one of the VIPs of the opposition mm -hmm. leaders. And whether it is the other opposition leaders, they are all saying that we don't want any reduction in security. What is the threat to the life? Why they? Why do they need 100, 100 people protecting them? Why do they need 50, 50 people so protecting them? So then you decide. Them? Then you it's tell us. Leader. Listen, for us, so, the VIP so, security so, is prioritized. Be clear about it. 
देन डोंट बी अशेम टू से इट से वुमेन सेफ्टी कैन टेक अ बैक सीट पहले नेता को प्रोटेक्ट करेंगे फिर महिला का देखा जाएगा फिर बोल दीजिए आप सामने से सेइंग दैट दीस पीपल हैव डबल स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑन वन साइड दे आर सेइंग वी वांट प्रोटेक्शन ऑन वन साइड दे आर प्रोक्यूरिंग द राइट दिस इज व्हाट अबाउट ट्री अगेन दिस इज लाइक यू नो व्हाट अबाउट ट्री बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी आर हैविंग डेवलपमेंट वर्क्स uh afrida i need to go because i am okay on okay school. you can uh, uh, you just, can you can yeah. check your leave thanks mr hegre yogi garden last Afrida, word to you thanks. pleasure your last word to you because like i said you know uh, one will turn around and say the vehicles were standing unused and for that particular day if it was required for a government purpose uh, why not i mean these explanations will come in eventually that if on that particular day these vehicles are government vehicles if they were standing unused we have used it for a purpose required for a government service what is wrong in it how would you respond uh it is a uh, actually we need to uh, investigate this even if it has happened in the previous government or is this government there needs to be an audit and the culprits uh, definitely need to be punished because uh, we have seen uh, a korean youtuber uh, being harassed on the streets of mumbai be it so many other uh, women uh, who are facing security safety issues not only in maharashtra but in india and uh, we are in 2022 like i said and uh, yet we are uh, women are still fighting uh, for the safety in, uh, uh, in uh, being in the 20th century and uh, the ministers uh, uh, the home minister especially of the state really needs to come forward and answer to this uh, 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 allegations that are being made because the women uh, of our country and of our state uh, truly deserve to know ki the funds allocated for their safety if it is diverted and misused somewhere else then it is a shame as a society because we really need to uh, prioritize women safety in today's world and therefore uh, even if it has been used in the previous government or else this government uh, the guilty should definitely be punished and there needs to be an audit report for sure but everyone is guilty sir that's the problem as it now turns out the moment you expose one side the other side have now uh, opened out uh, a new can of worms and there is uh, yep. more uh, filth that is coming out now even about the procurement of these vehicles there wasn't due diligence is what the bjp side the uh, uh, shinde faction is alleging so there is no end to this but what is important here and we must uh, say this here on the program that you know it is unfortunate the fact that there was a nirbhaya fund created this is taxpayers money this is the state exchequer we are talking about which many of us are paying through our noses and this is how the taxpayers money is being misused i mean i'm not saying this party or that party we will have to see who is who exactly is to be blamed for it but fact of the matter is nirbhaya fund is not being utilized for what it is meant to be it's being utilized for many other purposes which benefit the netas that's the shameful part of it all thanks very much mr yogi gade for joining us here on the program